let's take a simple exercise of SOLIDWORKS CAM for the part of lathe or you can say turning operation so let's create first part so front plane sketch now I'm going to create one path so activate line tool and uh, let's try to create one part exit now let's define 125 25 18 now select this one make it collinear now activate here spline start from here and let's connect right click select and exit now this is a kind of spline I'm not going to define the dimensions revolve a boss base now select this one as a axis of revolution okay now look this is a kind of a piece or material now let's go to add-ins and here activate SOLIDWORKS CAM and also activate this one if you activate this one so SOLIDWORKS CAM tab always open once you open SOLIDWORKS so I am always going to off one whatever whenever we need we can do it say ok now right click on any tabs go to tabs and activate SOLIDWORKS CAM feature ok now here you can start from this way or you just uh, drag and we have here see feature cam feature tree the second one is SOLIDWORKS cam operation tree and the third one it's a tool tree so let's start first define the machine what kind of operation we are going to do so I am going to define machine now here this option machine options pop up now first you have to define mill operation or turning machine this is the turning operation so I am going to choose this one and select this one so the system select the machines there are many two more options like tool crib here we have these kind of tools which is going to use for turning I am not going to go for detail we will learn in some other tutorials post processor means this is a what kind of machines we are going to take let's say two axis Fanuk. okay let's uh, say okay now second thing we need to define coordinate system so click this now here method either choose SOLIDWORKS or either choose defined now look X and Z direction tool coming from X direction so and here you will see Z is in this direction so system recognize and define the tool this is our starting phase of tool so I am going to keep my coordinate on this phase because this is going to be starting phase okay say okay the next option is stock define the raw material going to cut for this stock manager now system allows this material this is precise and accurate shape material keep always bigger like we need to add extra material for holding then we need to keep some material for facing some material for turning so first I am going to define material let's say stainless steel 304 ok now stock type round bar stock ok we will learn in some other detail this is solid this is going to be solid not core ok now we need to add some more material here so I am going to add here back face of stock let's say 40 millimeter extra material if I am going to click you will see here 40 millimeter going to extend and at the start also I am going to add 5 millimeter look the 5 millimeter material going to add this and for thickness also we need to increase so for this I am going to increase diameter see this is outside diameter let's increase 5 millimeter 55 
click outside and see material thickness going to add so material going to remove from all side and going to cut or trim from this side okay now this is also defined now let's do setup turn setup now here system by default took the axis so we don't need to do anything simply choose yes okay now first thing this is a automatic feature this solidworks cam always recognize features automatically so first option is extract machinable feature means which feature going to need machining select ok now see there are three features there are three features going to use for this the first one you will see going to facing second one is going to this you will see the blue line this is going to roughing and the third one is cut off this is going to parting tool okay now we have to define the operation what kind of operations going with this so generate operation plan now here see first is face roughing face roughing means this one going to face rough now here see there is a rough operation finish operation in finishing you will get accuracy and uh, there are different tools going to use see these are the diamond cutters now then there is a turning operation turn rough, roughing operation for this then finish operation for this and the last one is cutting operation parting tool operation for this now we already define the uh, operation plan now we have to define the tool path for this operation so here select generate pa tool path now look those uh, blue lines converted into uh, black means the path already generated if you select any operation you will see see the tool going to start from here and these are the paths is going to follow see these are the paths going to follow cutting path if you select the second operation third operation see going to start from here then come down here then from here to here there are multiple paths going to establish follow and the last one is cutting parting tool you start from here going down okay so now let's uh, simulate this operation and let's see how the things going to work so here choose simulate tool path now this is your uh, stock hold by lathe now here I am going to keep speed uh, minimum now display options here you have to define what kind of things you want to see here so if you want to see something like this then you can uh, also you can define many things like you if you want to see tool tool post stock stock with uh, everything you can simply define full I'm I don't want this I need, I need this operations even uh, fixture shaded tool holder also shaded with age then shaded with display then stock also translucent display see now let's play run see the tool is going to cut first facing done then this is also going to uh, facing turning operations now look this is going to be I think finish and last one is parting see done look there is still some material balance but this is how we can get okay now once you done now simply just choose turn setup and click post process because we need to create code for this operation to do programming in machine so let's say I am going to choose post now here this is the machine we selected that's why it shows uh, T2 axis mm -hmm. now what kind of code you want to generate mm -hmm. CNC code CNC code NC code in most of the machine use tap file this is the now let's save something like this save now here select play now code generated see 
these nc codes are generated these code going to use for the programming in cnc machines so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching